goes at Gordon, pulls back, top of the key jumper, got it! What's up guys, this is Coach Brian with Next Level Performance and today we're gonna work on the punch dribble. So this move can be used in any situation where you wanna try to decelerate as quickly as possible to make some separation from your defender. So the first step is to get moving full speed. So that can come off of a crossover between the legs, behind the back, whatever move you want to get you moving full speed. Step two is stop hard on your ball side foot. The last step is you need to be able to gather and create as much separation as possible. So, bang, just like that. You don't necessarily have to pick the ball up. You can go into another move. So this would be punch dribble, hesitation into your between the legs, or a punch dribble and then an in out. Or you could do a punch dribble into a side step like in this example. So there's a bunch of different moves you can build off the punch dribble but they all start with creating that separation. So here's some of the keys to mastering this move. So first one, definitely have to get moving full speed. And so I just can't be understated. If you do not attack full speed, the defender doesn't get moving full speed. And then when you slow down, he can easily slow down under control. But if you get moving full speed, then you stop hard, he'll usually overrun you a little bit. And that's where you create your separation. Step back, buckets. The second key is when you take that dribble with your ball side foot planted, you have to make sure you're leaning into it and planting and dribbling at the exact same time. So the step was late, the dribble was late. That was perfect, it's right on time, just like that. The last step, if you wanna really make separation, Try to lean back as much as you can as you're going into your gather. So if you try to go from here and just jump backwards, what ends up happening is you'll go one, two, and you don't make very much space and your balance isn't great. But if you go here and lean your body back just a little bit before you start your jump, it allows you to get good balance and allows you to make a little bit more separation than you normally would. Okay guys, so those are some tips to master that punch dribble. If you like this video, if it helped you at all, please subscribe to our channel, click that like button, turn on notifications, and we'll see you on the next one.